Hey gang, x Featurette. I'm Chris. I wanted to make a random video. I talked in the past about my, uh, my movie notebook, so I'm going to share with you some of my notes that I take whenever I watch certain movies because I have an atrocious memory. But first I wanted to show you my movie snacks. I have my McBoo pail here, so there's some goodies in here. What I pick first whenever I'm buying uh, candy for a movie, Butterfinger. Uh, you know, you better not lay a finger on my Butterfinger. These are delicious. Uh, I have Mallow Cups, which I think are just joyous, and um, they're from Altoona, PA. So, um, I love them. I don't know. Some people think they're gross, but I like marshmallow stuff. And of course, Reese's Pieces. What is, uh, you know, a movie without some pieces? So, um, by the way, if you're into nerd rap, you should listen to the song Reese's Pieces by MC Chris because it's really funny and educational and um, Reese's Pieces are good candy. So um, then we got some like little cups and then we got some Kit Kat darks which I already devoured most of them so you know some movie snacks. It's uh you know it's like 10 in the morning and I'm eating chocolate so we should be good but I have my little notebook. I went through like I've seen all of the movies and like most of the horror franchises multiple times, but I'm the type of person that if you ask me like, you know, what's your favorite kill in like, you know, Halloween 7, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So it's all lost on me, even though I've seen it multiple times. Because it all blends together, I don't, I don't know, like I just have a terrible memory. But I took some notes on, uh... Texas Chainsaw, which is one of my favorite franchises. I've said in the past, like, I don't think there's a bad Texas Chainsaw movie. Um, and I haven't watched Leatherface, so, um, but I, I don't know why I haven't watched it. It just came out and I never got the chance. But I wanted to, um, this is what goes through my mind whenever I'm watching it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one, and Hitchhiker, Weird, Who Cuts His Hand, Human Chili, Gas Station Cook, Going to Uncle's House. So, you know, that triggers things in my brain. Two, radio station, weird detective. I keep calling everything weird, and I think I will continue to. Chili contest, Bill Mosley has a plate in his head. <laughs> Leatherface's brother, Leatherface is dumb. Alright. Three, Dawn of the Dead guy. I do know his name, but, um, Dawn of the Dead guy, okay. <laughs> Girl hides in the woods, paranoid. California guy, Tex doesn't like him. Leatherface learns food, Leatherface is metal. Four, Next Generation, Matt M. Crazy Leg. <laughs> I love that. Secret People Run Everything, Busty Woman in Trailer Slash Office Helps Girls, Crazy Gas Station Guys, They're All Family, Sexy Woman is Matt's Bitch. <laughs> Leatherface is pretty. Uh, he is. Five, 90s Kids Play 70s Kids, Pick Up Crazy Girl. <laughs> Everyone's crazy. She Blows Her Brains Out, Will... Where weird warehouse with feral kid, sheriff is family, empty house, dead animals, old wheelchair dude, peephole and wall. Six, the beginning. Two couples going to Vietnam, marines. One brother is a wuss, old guy kills sheriff and takes over. Family, family eats people. I thought it said family cat people. <laughs> That's Scooby-Doo. Family eats people. Bikers are dead. Girl gets raped in mouth, allegedly. Leatherface was born in a meat factory. Seven. Texas Chainsaw. A girl inherits house. Fancy, huge, bro party. Girls, family, all friends die. Takes care of Leatherface forever. Um, that's really heartwarming to me. But that is like... But that's like where my brain has to go. I'm like, is that the one that took place with, like, the, the trailer and the, the people? Like, I don't know. I can't keep things straight in my head. I probably need, like, some ginkgo biloba or something. What else do I have? I have my Bigfoot notes in here. Um, I did them for... <laughs> I did them for The Pit and the Pendulum, which I think was the full moon one, because I didn't specify. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Satan was an angel, feather forehead, naked exam, pinches are the mark of Satan, Mara couldn't just not, Maria couldn't just not be a heretic, ride a broomstick through the air and kiss the devil's cock was a quote that I wrote down. 
uh, finger my crucifixion hole, fluff head, <sighs> unpure thoughts about the witch, those infections could cure death in that age. Those infections could cause death in that age. That, that was, yeah, that makes more sense. Fluffhead's dick can't get hoid. <laughs> uh, witches meeting in the meadow. Cut her tongue out so she can't tell people his dick is soft. I, I need to rewatch this, apparently. The pit equals suspense. Esmeralda comes out of flames. Egg timer equals mummified corpse. Half face equals immortal. Featherhead equals rat food. Impaled. Pit. Crucified guy equals cool, telepathy, exploding witch, Pope's, min Pope's minion in the wall. Um, yeah, my notes on that one got a little nuts, so I don't even know what I meant, but it definitely sounds like something I want to rewatch. <laughs> swamp thing. Is that a rattlesnake in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Research lab in swamp. Found glowing green goo that makes plants grow. Linda stuck her hands in all that shit. Bad guys want formula, arcane, Jude equals best character, gas station kid, find the girl, find the beast. Retard of the Swamp Thing, funnier than the original, Locklear is way better than Barbeau, two kids are ridiculous, uh, porno mags and hard stuff, Coke slash Pepsi. Wow. I think the final one that I'll read is The Gruesome Twosome, which I reviewed in the past, um, Intro with creepy mannequin heads and talking wigs. One gets stabbed. Napoleon, Napoleon is a stuffed ocelot. Old lady with wig shop. Close attention to hair. Young girl to rent room. Scalp alive. Dude scalping shirtless. Dude scalping is shirtless and then a shirt appears. <laughs> Continuum. Uh, during opening credits, wig appears on mannequin head. Camera magic to tell us she's dead. Awesome jazzy music. Horrible sound. Awesome jazzy music. KFC chicken sponsored dance party. Bucket on bed. They had a greasy bucket on their bed during a slumber party or something. Lady Sleuth suspects old janitor. Drive in of dude artistically eating chips. Caressing and smashing fruit. Napoleon always has liver on Thursday. One equals knife. Two equals electric knife. Three equals machete to tummy. Uh, wig pin through the eye. Those were all the kills, I believe. See, I don't really need notes to remember those ones because they're like individual enough that I don't forget them, but I mean, I guess if something doesn't really interest me, I'll forget it, and then I might make the mistake of watching it again, even though I really hated it the first time. I don't know. Do I need to have a lobotomy? Like, is it weird that I can't remember that level of detail of stuff? Um, oh well. Update on my 300 subscriber giveaway. But the rules are, you get an entry for subbing to me on YouTube, and for making a thoughtful comment, on the last three videos, including this one. So um, if, you know, as uh, Matatron1000 would say, don't just say, hey dude, nice video. <laughs> so, um, you know, actually have a conversation with me or else I don't care and I'm not gonna give you stuff. Um, I already know who like talks to me on a regular basis, but if, you know, this could get more people involved, um, that would be cool. And if you don't like me, then unsubscribe and then we won't have to be talking. So, um, <laughs> next next month I'll be like, hey guys, 100 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so have a conversation with me, leave some comments on the last three videos, and you will get an extra entry if you do the same on Instagram. So um, I'm going to be making a cool little mystery box. It's going to have a couple movies and some weird stuff. So if you would like a chance to enter, just do that, and that's it. Say, I want to be entered. You have to specify, or else I'll just think you're being really, really nice to me. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't judge me too harshly on my terrible memory. Um, I don't do drugs, so it's just naturally this way. So um, I'm not sure what to do, but keep taking notes like uh, like a deranged weirdo. I'm going to do that. And I don't know, do you guys have any conventions for remembering like movie details and stuff, or do you just have normal brains? Is that it? Um, you have normal memory function. You know, I'm in my early 30s, and I can't remember what I watched last week, so that's cool. Um, I don't know. I'm going to continue eating chocolate, and maybe that'll help. Bye. Happy Halloween. Marshmallow.